question yeah. um, was what value do you get from believing in a religion or the Quran per se? What value do I get? Like, yeah, being a Muslim. Mm. Okay, so one thing that we need to understand, and a lot of people don't really understand, is the following, yeah? Mm -hmm. Every single one of us follow a religion. You follow a religion. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Do you accept that? I accept that, yeah. Okay, good. So now, the question you're asking is, Ali, what does Islam offer above my religion? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So even an atheist, he has a religion. His religion is the way he lives. Party, have, whatever you mean, I'm not saying all atheists. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, why is this more superior exactly. than what I have? Yeah. Because this is the best form to live your life. Number one. To worship God and God alone, you need to understand there is a spiritual connection with that. When okay. you have, when you don't have a purpose, okay, in life, you are bound to be like a leaf on a windy day, wherever the wind takes you. Ya Allah, I took you to Edgeware Road, from Edgeware Road, we go over there, you're everywhere. Or you can choose to be a part of that tree, not as a leaf, but as its roots. So your roots are so strong that when the wind comes, it kind of affects you, but you're steady in your ground. Yeah. But do you agree I can worship in God without following no. specific ways? No, you can't. Why because not? the only way, because otherwise, okay. the Jews, I would say they, they worship God, the Christians worship God, okay. the Hindus worship God. Why Islam? Are they all not going to one God? Yeah, same God. Oh, no, because what we say it's all is all a monotheistic have, God, no? No, this is where Islam is pure in monotheism. Number one, we have three aspects of Tawheed. When you say pure monotheism? Pure monotheism, okay. unaltered. Right. No, let's add some artificial things here, yeah? Okay. Number one, we have three forms of Tawheed, yeah? Tawheed al rububiyyah Tawheed al rububiyyah and Tawheed al-Asma wa Safar. We single out an Allah in His Lordship. In what His does Lordship. That mean? Okay. Allah is the sustainer, He's the provider, and He owns the whole universe. Okay. And everything within it. I accept that as well. Of course you do, because you're yeah. going to be a Muslim soon, inshallah. Yeah. Hassan, please, yeah, we're waiting right, for okay. you. But see, I didn't have to read the Quran to believe you know it. You know why? Because that's a fitrah. It's fitrah what, you mean innate? innate? Your innate disposition. Okay, right. Allah has created you in a way that you can find Him, unless your fitrah has been corrupted. Which we can still help, but yours is good. Yours is pure still. <laughs> okay. You accept that God Almighty is the sustainer, the, provi the provider. Okay. Good. You go to the Christians, they'll say to you, No, in the beginning, Jesus was with God. They ascribe certain things to him when it comes to God's lordship. We single out in him in his lordship. We say, oh Allah, this belongs to your dominion to you. Good. Now let me tell you who else also had this belief. The Quraysh, the pagan Arabs in Arabia. The Kuffar who end up, you know his uncle, the prophet's uncle? Mm -hmm. Who's going to end up in the fire? He yeah. also believed this. Okay. How? Now what is the difference? Because if the prophet's uncle believed that, then what's the difference? Yeah. Shaitan believed this. You know Shaitan? Yeah. Shaitan believed God's rububiyyah. Mm -hmm. He asked him by his might, give me to the day of respite. <laughs> now, what differentiates us from everyone yeah. is Tawheed al We single out Allah in his worship. You go to the Christians, what do they say to you? But not you. <laughs> what do they say to you? Yeah, we worship the Father, but we go through Jesus. Jesus also part of the Trinity. Jesus is God. Go to the Hindus. Yeah, we believe in this many gods, that many gods. Yeah? So you single out God as one, in, right? No, not in His Lordship. We single Him out in worship. In worship, okay. We make dua to Him, we ask Him, we worship Him alone. Mm -hmm. We don't say, oh, in the name of Muhammad and Allah, Audhu Billah, no. Okay, so there's no discrepancies? No, the there is direct right, communication. Okay. Like Allah yeah, but see, says, I can do that as well. Huh? Sorry? I, I could also do that. You are going to do it, inshallah. When you do, yeah. I'm, I'm going to teach you no, how to but, Salah. No, I could do that without following Islam. So no, you can't. why? Let me why, tell you why? why? Because this, what would happen is this. <coughs> what, do you know the Christians? Do you know Jesus being God is something that was new in the Council of Nicaea and etc. The Christians didn't wake up one day and say, I know, let's start worshipping Jesus. It was a gradual process. How? They came and said, well, okay, they had a discussion. Okay, what is Jesus? What, what role does he play? Yeah? And then some people came and said, oh, he has some divine elements. He's the son of God. Oh no, he is God. After centuries is what became that they decided and said, no, he's a part of the God, triune God. They didn't wake up one day and believe this. What that shows is the same with the Quraysh in Mecca. Ibrahim is the one who built the Kaaba. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why did the pagan Arabs of the, his, descent, his descendants, yeah? Why did they end up putting 360 idols? Because human beings like things they see. I want to see, touch. Remember we was talking about like gravity and stuff like that, yeah? So what they're saying is, look, Allah, we can't see Allah. 
I know if we have a statue, so these people like Allah and Uzzah, these statues that they used to worship, these were righteous individuals who used to feed the pilgrims. When they died, they start building statues that look like them. And then what they did is they started, the next generation came and said, oh, our forefathers used to go and pay respects. Let's go and kiss the stone. And their forefathers said, well, we saw our forefathers kissing the stone. Let's, let's, let's give it a bit of time and say, oh, um, can you help me? I'm in a difficult time. And as time progressed, they worshipped it as an idol. How? They would go and say, they believed in Allah. Look, Allah says in the Quran, if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they'll say Allah. Now, hold on a second, how does that make them worship then? Because when it came to worship, mm -hmm. they would go through the idol. What did they say? I, we only go through these idols to get closer to you. Logic. Okay. Shaitan comes to you with what? Logic. Oh, why do you do that? Why don't you try this? In order for you to stay on the Sarat al-Mustaqim, the straight path, you need a guidance. This is when I was in your place 12 years ago before I came to Islam. I said, hold on a second. I believe in God, but I, be I rejected all religions. But I said, well, that doesn't make sense. How am I going to know how? I don't know what God wants from me. Mm. How does he want me to worship him? Should I go, go on a tree and stand like this? Should I do stand on my head? Uh, how, how should I worship? Should I take my uh, shoe out and throw it on the sky? I want yeah, him but does to it, tell me. Does it in the Quran say God cares how you worship him? Not cares, he's given us commands how to worship him. But does that mean he cares, like how well, you do it? Of course he cares. Okay, because, let me tell you something. Yeah. You know the universe, how big it is? Mm -hmm. You know what is spec? Yeah, you can't even comprehend like how big and it is. And he still cares about us. We're spec, spec. You know my dad's always says to me, why does your God care about us with spec? I said, isn't it profound that we're spec and he cares about us? Yeah, and it's the opposite, it's the argument is opposite. We respect, we respect and he cares about us. Yeah, I believe he cares because I mean, he created the whole universe. But of course, and he wants best for creation. you. He wants paradise for you, brother. He wants paradise for you. He doesn't want bad for you, he wants good for you. Allah says in the Quran, what will I get out of punishing yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, exactly, but see, look, if he wanted good for me, yeah. he wouldn't care how I worship him. No, excuse me, excuse me, one second. Yeah. Go to the queen. Okay. Do you think you shake the queen's hand? No. Uh, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, teach, I don't think that's a good teach, comparison. They're going to come and say, listen, when yeah. the queen comes, you have to do this, like, like, or, or something. You know, you know, you know what they do, yeah? Brother, why? Yeah, I'll tell her, yeah, assalamu alaikum, what are you saying? Yeah, but forget all this nonsense. Yeah, hello, I haven't got time for this nonsense. Yeah, but... Why do, no, one second. Mm -hmm. Why do we have a protocol how to, how to welcome the queen? I don't care about the queen, brother. I haven't got time for the queen. Why? Because of who she is. Because of who she is. Let me tell you something. Who's a famous person that you know, like, really famous? That I know. Yeah, not Muhammad Ijab, yeah, besides him. Or like that someone I've met. No, no, someone that you're like, wow, like if I saw this guy. Um, I've met him, I mean, uh, Einstein, for example. Okay, let's suppose you walk down and you see Einstein. Okay. How would you, how would you demean be if you approached him? Wouldn't he be gassed? I'll oh, respect sir. him. No, I'll be very come respectful. Come, come, come. No, yeah, I'll be, I would be gassed. Bro, you'd be gassed. Yeah. He'd be like, yo, listen, bro, we but see I'll still, no, I'll still very, I'll still very, I'll respect him a lot. Okay. Because of how he's influenced me. Okay. If you know that Einstein says, okay guys, if anybody approaches me in public, I prefer if they can do this and touch my shoulder as respect. You're, that's in the back of your head. When you see him, what are you going to do? Because that's, he's saying, I prefer this. Now, let's compare that to Allah, who has created the entire universe. Yeah, but see, like, does God prefer? That's the thing. No, not prefer, he orders. He orders you to worship Because he said God prefers no, no, for no, you no, to do prefers. this. He orders us to. And okay. he's deserving of it. To me, it's like, come. If Allah said to yeah, me... Yeah, I understand he orders, but like, what's the reason to that order? No, no, no. no. There's, there's, look, let's say there's no reason. I can give you a reason. Number one, he's deserving of it because of who he is. The respect, yeah, exactly. So I would, I would worship him how I sincerely believe. Of course, but I, the thing like, is, in, look, you know when you know how, like, how much, it, how magnificent he is from the universe, yeah? Okay. You're like, okay, you know what, I want to worship this God. What God is telling you is, okay, that's good, you want to worship me. Here is how I would like to worship him. Okay. It's like when you see Einstein, has Einstein paid for your bills? When you get into a fight, is he going to back you up? He does nothing for you. Why are you so gassed when you see him? Because of who he is. Now, what about Allah, who is millions and trillions and quadrillion times greater than Einstein? How do you think we should treat him? The same, not the same, in a respect that when we put our forehead on the floor, it's the least that we can do. Okay. If we was to worship God, the moment we was born to the day we died, we haven't worshipped him the way he deserved. You know there are some angels that Allah has created, that their whole purpose is, you know what? To worship Allah from the moment they were created to the moment they die. 
the moment they're not going to exist. Yeah? And guess what? When they put their head up on their judgment, you know what they're going to say to Allah? I repeat again, there are angels who worship Allah in prostration the moment they were created to the moment of the day of judgment. And when they lift their head up to Allah's majesty, do you know what they're going to say? We did not worship you the way you deserve. Bro, check this out. We pray five times a day. Oh yeah, bro, that's very long. Yeah, yeah, man, it's the... Five times a day and we're like, yeah. The point I'm trying to say is how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. If Allah told me, wallahi, if this religion said, you have to climb the tree every first day, come down, do seven push-ups, four backflips, and I don't know, I'll do it. Does Allah want it? I'll do it. Right. That's why Abu Bakr was a Siddiq. When they came to Abu Bakr and said, your prophet that you claim, saying that he went, he flew to the heavens. You know the, the, the command for Salah? The prophet, we believe he traveled to the heavens. And people were laughing. Then how you believe that he went on a horse, some kind of an animal to the heavens? You know what Abu Bakr said? Like he came to him and said, did he really say that? He said, yeah, he said, then it's true. Then it's true. <laughs> the point I'm saying is how majestic Allah is. Come back to the point. That's yeah? fine, but, okay. But, but the initial question was, yeah, what, was the question? what value do you get? I went from a bit of an emotional one. Yeah. <laughs> what value do I get from following the Quran? Because good. because you good, went to good. you went to a point that it gives value to God. Good, good. No, 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 no. Like no, like no, following no, this no. gives more value to God. No, no, it gives value to you. If nobody was to worship Allah, it doesn't take nothing from His kingdom. Nothing. You're only losing. Number one, having a connection with God Almighty. Yeah. There was a study done in Oxford University by Justin Barrett. He realized that kids have an inclination to worship higher being. This is innately programmed in you. Okay. You will only find, Allah says in the Quran, only in my remembrance do hearts find peace. You see, I've never done that when I was younger. Done what? Like, worship. No, not worship. Everyone has an inclination to believe in a higher power. You do. I didn't even know what a higher power was when no, no, I was no, younger. No. I'm, I'm saying, generally, yeah. the study that was done, most kids have an inclination. If no religious were told to them, they would believe in a higher power. Yes, there's a higher power. There's actually power. a study on this. Yeah, yeah, just in Barrett. Uh, we don't sister online. Right. But if you go to salahplus.com, Salah Plus. you, can, you can sponsor someone to learn how to pray Salah. Okay. 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 Hmm. So what I'm trying to say is this, yeah? yeah. Is that... Um, what was I saying? I forgot. The, yeah, I, okay. I forgot myself. So, so, so no. What I'm saying is that we are created to worship Him and Him alone. Yeah. So the only form of happiness you will find is in His remembrance. No money, no car, no girls, nothing will ever give you that happiness. That's the reason why you have these rich guys, etc. They live this lifestyle and they're not happy. Why? If that was the reason of happiness... So you're telling me like I'll find happiness by submitting my will. I repeat again, you will never find any peace, any tranquility, any purpose in your life the way you do when you worship God. When you worship God, and worshiping is a way of life, when you follow the Quran, what happens is you find your true self. Yeah? Now, look, either you have which one is better like Allah says See, the thing is, I don't, I don't, I don't think, you, did you know the true self you said? Yes. I think it's just that people find a purpose when they start worshipping God. I don't think it's, it's necessarily a connection. No, no, it's it's a that connection. a lot of people don't have purpose. Brother, I'm telling you I have connections. Yeah, okay, you're I'm, saying I'm, that. Connection. You're saying that, but that's... I, 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 I make certain du'as, certain... But that's a subjective thing to you, right? Subjective. Yeah, exactly, I'm but see, so. yeah, but see, um, uh, what was I saying? That it's, 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 um, you're saying it's subjective to me. Yeah, it's subjective to you, but um, oh yeah, the happiness, right? Yeah, purpose. Right. You said, so you said purpose. Oh yeah, the purpose, yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, everyone's purpose is subjective, right? Yeah. It's also subjective. Like, I don't believe in this objective purpose. No, no, there's objective purpose. Yeah, but, but that's because you believe in the no, Quran. of course, that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course. But um, everyone's purpose, like, is different for their own. As soon as they find their purpose... No, 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 there's one purpose. Our purpose, Allah says, we have not created mankind... What, is to worship God? Except no other reason except to worship Him. Okay, see... That's your purpose. Right. So yeah, okay, because but that's because you believe in the Quran. Of course, yeah, obviously. Yeah, so you believe that's yeah. the purpose. Yeah. See that. See that comes down to the same question you said. People find happiness when they start worshiping God. Yes. It's because you've worshipped God. No, you, no, I mean, no, you've no, read I'm the Quran. Not subjective experience. I'm no, 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 but I, this is this is what I'm trying to say. Look, this is the point I'm trying to get across. You worship the. You've read the Quran. Yeah. You've worshipped God. Yeah. Therefore, you found the purpose because you believe that's the purpose. No, no, therefore, no, no, you're truly no, no, happy. No, I believe. Because I believe you're truly happy when you find your purpose. 
No, 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 no. Your purpose can be anything. What if someone says my purpose is to make shoes? No, no, I'm talking about life purpose. No, no, exactly. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. How could you find your purpose without God Almighty telling you your purpose? You can't find your purpose for yourself. God has to tell you why you are created. If he's created you, he has to communicate with you. If he's communicating with you, if this is what yeah, but God that's Almighty, why you're happy, right? No, no, brother. I'm happy because I am following the truth which is revealed in the Quran. Because you believe it's the purpose. No, I believe I know. You know it's the purpose. Yes. So therefore you're happy. Well, that you're yes. following what God well, wants. Yes, but also that will yeah, exactly. make me happy. God is saying in my remembrance do hearts find peace, meaning you are programmed to only find happiness with his remembrance. You know people go and chase, look, Allah says in the Quran, which one is better? A person who has three, four masters or a person who has one master? I chose to worship one master rather than worshiping different masters, money, women, cars, this, that. I, they were all my masters. I, I, I served all of them. But then I realized, well, hold on a second. This is a religion that I'm following, and these are my masters. I prefer to worship, and none of them deserve worship. Does money deserve worship? No. Girls? No. Cars? No. House? No. No. So I said, who deserves true worship? The one who created me. So why did is I broke those shackles of enslavement to these creation, and I connected me, myself to the creator, and that's when I found my true freedom. That's when I realized I don't need to prove myself to this person and drive this and look like this and that. I, I don't care what you think of me. Mm -hmm. All I care is about what God thinks of me. So that is where I found my true purpose because then, bro, do you think, bro, I used to be after money, this, all that kind of stuff. My lifestyle was all about that money, yeah. money, all this kind of stuff, yeah? I couldn't find happiness. Even the people that I knew had money, they were depressed, drinking alcohol. Yeah, because they don't have the purpose. No, exactly. But not only don't they have the purpose, bro, even if someone, even if Christians came to me and said, your purpose is Jesus died for your sins. Do you think that's going to bring them happiness? No. They're, they're shirk, they're committed shirk. No, that's not a purpose though. No, but to them they might be. Oh, I'm a Christian and Jesus died for my sins, that's my purpose. But only in the worship of God Almighty truly, you find it. There's many things. Your lifestyle. Everything, is, Islam is a way of life. From which hand you eat, to what you say, it's a whole way of life. Islam just takes over. Yeah, I see it as like a perspective. That's it how is, I see it. It is, it is. And the thing is, it's the best thing for you. Allah says, don't okay. get involved in haram relationships. Don't get into a relationship before marriage. Yeah? You'll ruin you. Allah says in the Quran. See, like, what, I, what I believe, um, like you said, it's the best perspective, yeah. right? It's the best way. Yeah. I believe it's a good way, but I believe there's many ways. So, uh, like, look, look, I'll give you an example. There's a movie called Arrival, right? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever watched it. Uh, yeah, I think I did, yeah. Okay, so in the movie, um, you have, so our language, right, yeah. is very linear. Yeah. We, we, um, the way we read language from left to right, or depending on the language, the from right, right to right left, right. but we go from the past to the present to the future. That's how we read, right? In the movie, we had aliens invade us, yeah. and they had, their language was circular. Okay. So they didn't have a past, uh, present or future. Their past, present, future was, is, it was, um, one. it was one, yes. So like for them, time wasn't linear. Okay. Right? So they could see they could see all parts of time. So it, I see like as soon as like the woman in the movie for example learned the learned the language, she started to see through time. Right? Okay. She started to see into the future to the past. Yeah. See, this is necessarily it doesn't matter if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a perspective to the life. So have you ever like heard of like um, the more languages you know, the more lives you've lived? Have you ever heard of that? Uh... Yeah, kind of, yeah, maybe. Okay. But see, there's that, there's that quote, like, the more languages you know, the more lives and perspectives you've lived. Yeah. Because you're able to, like, it's like, um, it's like saying this bottle is full of water, yeah. or this bottle is half empty, you know, this is all perspectives. Yes. And you can make different outcomes, yes. conclusions. Yes. So it's a bit like that I see with, like, um, religion. It's like, it's, it can be very beautiful, it can be a very nice perspective that I don't mind following. I could possibly follow this yes. okay. in the near future, but it doesn't, for me, it doesn't mean it's the, uh, it's the best absolute truth. No, it's the best absolute truth. I'm not saying this is all beautiful because I'm, I'm telling you that there are undeniable truths that prove that this is from God yeah, Almighty. Yeah, but see, look, if, because that to me proves you, um, your, your definition of truth is different from mine. No, no, no. There's, because there's, truth there's, is what the facts are. No, no, that's, there's one truth. But there's also a way of life. That way of life cannot be objectively proven. I can't come and say to you, oh, you start to an animal and say, Bismillah, is an objective truth in the sense of, oh, how do I verify that? That's why we have tawakkul in Islam. Yeah, it's objective truth because we're able to test it. No, 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 we don't know that. Look, even, you know for that? example, if the animal 
gets maximum amount of uh, pain. It still doesn't deny it that it's from the ultimate truth. That's irrelevant. Your measure cannot be how 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 bad does the animal feel pain? Oh, no, you don't bad, know if the animal feels pain. If even if he did, okay. it doesn't make the command wrong. What command? The command from God Almighty. Well, that killing animals yes, is fine. Yes, it okay. doesn't. Just because you say, oh, the animal feels a lot of pain, therefore this is wrong. It doesn't work like that. I'm not coming and saying to you, this is true because of ABC or because when you cut the animal, it's the less. Let's suppose it, it causes more pain. It doesn't take it away from the truth. No, no, I'm not talking about like a um, contradiction. That would be a contradiction. Because no, if. Why would it be a contradiction? No, no, because if, the, if God is saying. Yeah. Um, like you have to kill animals and to, you have to eat them, right? Yes, yeah, slaughter But we see um, killing as not like, it's not necessarily a good thing, right? No, it is. Yeah, but if, to be like, um, subjectively, that can necessarily, uh, it can be a bad thing, right? So, and you'll be like, oh, like you see all the vegans, right? They say like, oh, don't kill animals, they're suffering, right? Yeah. That would be a contradiction. No, to it wouldn't be a God saying, no, but that's if you believe that killing is not right. No, it won't be a contradiction. But how is it not? They will just say that is morally wrong. That will be morally wrong. They will say that. That's a subjective experience. To me, if this is from God Almighty, yeah, then to me that's all that matters. What God tells you. So you me believe in the morality well, that the Quran course, brings you? Of course. What it says. To Do you believe we can have morality without the Quran? Can we have morality without the Quran? Yes. It can be interlinked. Like, for example, do I need the Quran to know that murder is wrong? No, no not, necessarily. not necessarily. No, I don't. So it's something that Allah has created within myself. And also, the text also says that it goes together. But on what murder? In what sense? You do it, a person doing what? Do you get it? What defines someone to be guilty? Yeah. That's what God tells me. So, um, the, like the question I said, what value does it give us? A lot yes. of people usually tell me, like, like yourself, like a lot of Muslims, they say, it teaches us morality and like a better way of life, right? It is, generally. Yeah, religion, I understand that. You're, you're more happier yeah. following a, a, a religion. Much yeah, but happier. I don't believe you, um, you have to, you don't need this for morality. Of course you do. You, no, you don't. Okay, if you, okay, one second. Okay, why is incest wrong? Why is incest wrong? Yeah, why is okay, wrong? so look, first of all, what is morality, right? Right? Morality, when you, when you look into morality, yeah. you have to look at the consequences, right? So are you a consequentialist? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm so okay, one second. So then, uh, like Emmanuel Kant. Sorry. Yeah? Like Emmanuel Kant. Mar I don't know that. Is. You don't know Emmanuel Kant? No. Okay. He's, okay. So he's, he's one of the founding figureheads of you know this um, consequentialism. Okay. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So this is a full process so, I came so, so, over myself. Okay. Okay. But okay. the consequentialist, for example, is if we have, for example, twenty people, and somebody comes and says, you have to pull the trigger and kill one of them, or I'm going to kill all of them. Which one do you go for as a consequentialist? Uh, one of them or all of them? Yes. Oh, but okay, but wait, one more thing. I didn't finish the... Okay, sorry. Um, so, you have to look at the consequences and the rights of the individuals. Okay, no problem. So what's right? the consequence? That's morality. Okay, no problem. Killing one person to save 19. Killing one person to save 19? Yes. I'll kill one person. If I'm not mistaken, as a do you consequentialist... Do you know why? Yeah. I think as a consequentialist, I don't know if it... From what I remember, I don't know if it goes against it or for it, but the thing is here is that I think that's the reason why, um, yeah, as a consequentialist, I think that goes against you. And Emmanuel Kant said, you that's what Emmanuel Kant said, he has categorical imperatives, meaning that in no way, shape or form you can kill that man. But as a consequentialist, now... No, example, the situation, and, I, and, I, and I agree with it, look, I agree with it, like, like in Islam... But, but no, I'll no, explain no, why, I'll explain no, why. Wasn't. In Islam, yeah. actually, mm -hmm. um, as far as I know, you are not allowed to kill that person to save all. You all die. No, in this, if I had a, if I had that option, I would kill the and one individual. This is individual. why you need Islamic morality. No, but why? I would, why? You get it. Why? But why? Because and it goes I believe in it. Well. Yeah. Because today now you have, for example, homosexuality. It's, it's, it's a hot topic. It's homosexuality. Did you think very wrong? Why don't be careful? It might come at the cost of your whole career. But homosexuality. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You might. You might. You might. You might finish your whole life. They'll finish you. Yeah. Okay. But uh, with the with the first topic, right? No, but no, let me let me answer now, the first topic. Let me tell you something. I don't even want to answer, but I don't, I don't want to I don't want to ruin your whole career, brother. Yeah. yeah? A man. Is there kids here? Is there no kids here? A man inserting his penis in another man's rectum. Okay. Is that natural? Is that is that? Do, do you think? Depends what you think natural is. That's the thing. Okay. What is natural? Well, to me, for example, I don't base my natural. Uh, decisions based on what uh, animals do. 
Do you get it? Some people say, oh, but who animals do that? What I'm trying to say is that the penis has been created to insert into the vagina for procreation. Yeah? Number one, when it comes to the evolutionary aspect, it actually goes against evolution because if every man has to have an intimacy with another man, we, will, we won't exist anymore. And number two, studies show that they, the high levels of STDs is one of the factors that play this because of this. Now today, that's totally fine. You've got gay and AIDS. You're walking in a zebra crossing, it's rainbow, brother. Yeah? It's become the norm. So the point when you said, why do we need religion? And let me tell you, this is one of the reasons I came to Islam. You know why? Because I looked into my culture, which you come from, very similar. Mm -hmm. I saw the decline of, for example, how my grandma, my mother used to dress to Turkish, Kurdish girls. And I'm not saying all. Now we go to a wedding, in our weddings we have alcohol, music, I mean, women are dressed up there in, in a club. You have raka. You have raka, you got, you got it all going on. Yeah. So I said to myself, how did this decline happen? Let me tell you why it happened. Okay. Islam says a woman should cover her everywhere except her hands and feet. Consistent throughout time. Consistent, brother. Hmm? But when we come to the UK and we adapt this religion and the way of lifestyle, and when you don't have a way of life, I saw all my friends, all my friends that I knew, let me tell you something, girls, we're going on a mad thing, yeah? Guys, alcohol, you name it. Alcohol, drugs, gambling, everything. Why? Because you do not have foundations to fall back on. Even a Muslim, like even if they grow up as a Muslim, at least you have some foundations. Okay, this is wrong. You know, no alcohol, this, you know. No, no, don't eat pork, you know. But anything else, yeah, well, pork, woo! No, mm. if only they had that label. If they said there's pork and alcohol and zina, they would have stayed away from it as well. What I'm trying to say is this. When you don't have a way of life, morality given to you by God, you are bound to decline. That's the reason why when you look at girls, for example, there was a study done, not study, there was a video done in the eight, I think the 19th century. There's actually a video of it. They go to these British women who lived here, bro, and they show them a mannequin that's got a miniskirt and they're like, oh my gosh, how could she dress up like that? Blood fire, come here and see what's going on. Yeah, you see what's going on. How did they go from that to this? It's a decline in morality because the more you make, look, let me tell you something. Now they're fighting for rights mm -hmm. of incest. When you don't have a religion, a way of life given by God to live by, you are bound to fall to assim uh, assim assimilation, yeah? So the thing is that you are slowly, slowly declining, slowly, and your children, and your children, next thing you know, and this happens, bro, you see Muslim families who do not practice their religion properly, and their children slowly, 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 next thing you know, he comes and says, you know, I don't want to say on camera, you know, you know, you know I'm, I'm a woman now. Okay. You know, I'm a piano. I, yeah. you know, I'm, I feel like I've been a tree today, mm -hmm. yeah? This is why religion is so fundamental, you know? And there was, there was a, a, a clown that I was talking to. They were mocking the Quran. <laughs> the Quran says that you can't marry your sisters and your mothers. Yeah, you fool. Now they're trying to promote incest. You need this. And they're atheists. Because as, as an atheist, he has to be pro-incest. He can't be against incest. He has to say, well, they're right. Two people love each other. Consenting adults, using protection. It's calm. It's calm. So this is the reason why the Quran says this. So the love is on them. Because they're laughing, oh, thank God the Quran told us not to marry our mothers. Oh, what, what would we have done without it? Well, you fool, you would have probably have, because they're kids here, they would, you would have intimacy with your own mum or dad, you know, or siblings, consenting, because this is your worldview. Okay. So do you, do you, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? I, I understand. Okay, Pastor. So That's why you need religion. I, I'll, okay, but see, these uh, moral, moral issues, right? Like I said, with consequences, right? And for me, with science, I can prove it. I'll, I'll explain why. why, why I'll, explain how. I'll explain why how. I'll explain how. No, I can explain why how, how I can prove it. Okay, go so the first question you said was, would I kill 19 people or one, right? Yes. I would kill one. Yes. Why? Because we're innately yeah. social creatures, yes. right? And there is no value in me killing more of the social creatures than that just that one. Okay. Why would I choose killing 19 that can benefit me? Yes. Then you know, then killing one. Go. So that's the first. That's, that's the first. That's why you need Islam, by the way. Carry on. Carry okay, on. but that's that's that, that's not that's not actually answered by Islam. First that, of all, that is, it's I answered that using science. You, you no no, no you, proving you, that we are social creatures. No no, that's right. You said you'd rather kill one than kill 19. Because we're social creatures. No problem. And there's no benefit in me killing there you 19. Go, there you go. The benefit. Whose benefit are you talking about? Your My benefit. benefit. Okay. What if you're the guy that's going to be killed? I mean, I don't have it's a choice. I don't have a choice. Yes, peak now. I don't have a choice. Check Islam. Check what but, Islam. But, but look, listen. Check what Islam you have says. To, he has to take into the consequences and my rights. No, no, check Islam. Islam if he's going to kill me, he's not Islam taking it into my... Islam something better. Islam says, 
you are not allowed to kill that one person. It's haram to kill a soul. If you kill one soul, it's as if you kill the whole of humanity. Islam says no, you die, you all die. Simple, we all die. Like, look, look, look for Hitler, for one example, second, right? One second, one second, one second, one second. Yeah, but let's say Hitler, for no, example. No, no, one second. Yeah. Hitler, one second. You know why? Because I know my equations and my mathematical equations are not based on this life. I'm talking about the hereafter. Okay. I know I'm going to be killed innocently. Bro, that's the best thing that's going to happen to me. Because number one, you're burying my sins now. Number two, on the day of judgment, you know, I'm going to be sticking on you and I hope through you I enter paradise and we're going to die as a martyr. But when you bring it down to our reality of life, then it goes back to what? Selfish. S social beings. About me. If they live, I'm going to... Da -da -da. Do you see how Islam transcends? But that's transcends, innate. That's all innate. It transcends that. Yeah? It's all innate, isn't it? You're very selfish. Yeah? No, I'm, you I'm, are. Okay, one second. I'm selfish because I don't want to kill 20 people. No, no, it's not about but 20 kill people. Um, you know, there's no such thing as like true love, you know? Like, no, there is. No, there isn't. There is. Believe me. There is. You would say that with God, but... Again, again, Islam... Yeah, but look. Do you know what... But let's let's say for this brother, for example, right? Yes. Would you jump in front of this brother yeah. and take a bullet and die for him? Okay, if I said to you right now, yes, I'll be lying. But give me a second yes, to think you about it. Yes, you would be lying. Give me a second to think about it. I need to think about it. Because it's not an A. If this brother was going to get shot, would I jump for a bullet? To save him? Most likely no. Yeah, okay. Just to be real. Right. Why? Because I'd be like, I'm you know sorry, what? Brother. You know what? You know what? <laughs> for number one, number one, yeah? If I did, the only reason I may not, because my religion teaches me that, for example, to protect other human beings. Okay. And if you die in the process, you become a martyr. I'm just not brave enough to do that. I'll be real with you. Do you get it? But yeah. does my religion teach it? Yes. Number two, number two. When you said there's no form of true love, loving for the sake of Allah. Let me tell you something. Do you know what loving for the sake of Allah is? Do you know what it is? For the sake of Allah? Yes. Okay, but what you, that means you is, still won't truly love him. No, 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 no. Listen to me carefully, brother. Listen to me carefully. If I truly reached the Iman level, I'll probably jump in there. I haven't reached that yet. Now, what is loving for the sake of Allah? Loving for the sake of Allah is this. When I go, let's say you're a Muslim, mm -hmm. and you ask me for five grand, which I don't have. But let's say I give, I give you that. Okay. Actually, no, let's not give money is my right. You have to give it to me. Let's go something else. Let's say I'm really good to you. and I'm, We go into a fire, back you up, I knocked out three months. Okay, whatever. And one day you came in, he slapped me, bang. And I go, wow, what's that for, bro? Yeah? Now, I can choose two things. Always I can slap you back. Or I can say, you know what? You know what, bro? You hurt my feelings. Okay, I forgive you for the sake of Allah. What that means is the following. Yeah, but I do that as well. I do no, that no, too. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. The reason why someone can do that is their reward is with Allah. I am not doing anything for you for a return. Let me back him up, he'll back me up in a fight. No, I back him up because I want the pleasure of God. Let me help him out in a tough situation because one day he might help me out. No, even if I help you out and in my worst time you turn your back, I'll say, you know what? I'm so happy that I did what I did because I did it not conditionally. I did it for the sake of God. I want nothing back from you. Okay. That is only, you can find that. For God. For the sake of, no, if you're doing it for his sake. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all selfish behavior of, I'll do this. Because in the back of our head, what do we always think? Ah, uh, that little brother's come. Yeah, you know that brother, man. Every time I call him, and I, you know, I used to take him out in my car. Now man's got a car, he doesn't even know me. Yeah? Yeah, he probably knows some of those friends. Okay. <laughs> Why are you thinking like that? Because you should be thinking, you know what? I did it for the sake of Allah. I don't care if he didn't even pick me up at all. That is true love for the sake of God, because you don't want nothing from Him. Nothing, it's not conditional. And that's so what in, in that situation, for, right, you said, um, like let's say I had the issue like that, right? Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be a um, situation of, do I forgive this person for doing that? Or do I like hit them, right? For me, like growing up, I'm very, um, I, uh, I see like everyone has value, right? And I see, uh, what, what's the word? Um, I feel for people, you know? Same, same right, word. because it's innate. It's innate in my yeah, mind. Okay. And because we're social creatures, right? Yeah. I feel for other people. Yeah. I feel sorry for other people. Yeah. So when, when people, when, if someone was to come to me and like slap me, for example, yeah. right? And I would not I would try to protect myself. I wouldn't hit them back. Yeah. Because, I, and I would forgive them, right? Okay. Why I would forgive them? Because I know better that that person did not know any better. Yeah. That person did not know any better. Okay. I don't know what situation that person is going through. Yes, yes. And uh, I have to understand, like... I know, but I'm not even talking about that. Non-Muslims will do that. I'm not saying it's an Islam thing. Yeah, but see, Islam doesn't have to teach me that. No, 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 brother. Loving for the sake of Allah. You live in a selfish society. 
you are more prone to do things with expectations. Islam debunks that. Islam comes and says, do things for the sake of God and have no expectations. Don't get upset when you do something for a person and they don't say thank you or they don't return it. If you did it for the sake of God, you would have done it unconditionally. You would never be disappointed because you didn't do it to have something back. Islam teaches you that. Islam is a whole way of lifestyle, bro. It's not just that. For the sake of God, yeah? Yes, for loving for the sake of Allah is something I understood a couple of years later. Okay, so Islam. like you, the Imam idea you had, like that person, the Imam would jump in front of him, right? Yeah, hopefully. When that Imam jumps in front of that person, what goes through his mind? Is it that I'm doing it for God? Yes. Or am I going to go paradise if I go in front of this person? Maybe it's that he's a, another human being. Also, I want to please God. Also, I want to enter paradise. Also, I don't want to go to hell. Maybe one of them. Okay, but see, I don't, I don't think that's like, that's, um, that's fair to God. Why is that not fair to God? Thinking that you're going to go to paradise doing something good. Why not? I don't think that's it's fair for him. Bro, 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 we're dealing with realities here. Yeah. This is a reality. Why does God Almighty say in the Quran that men are going to get hoodies in, in Jannah? Yeah? You get me, brother? No, no, i <laughs> My wife watches this. Can you come to my Janazah? Yeah? Please come to my Janazah, yeah? <laughs> I don't really care for that. <laughs> She'll send me straight to my hood. Anyways, uh, moving, moving swiftly on. I think the dog heard that. He's a bit gassed. Yeah. The point is this, why does God Almighty talk about the description of these women? Allah says in the Quran that they'll be full-breasted. I mean, it's a bit graphic. Full-breasted, okay. Yeah, yeah, God Almighty has to tell us that they are drop-dead gorgeous. In, in heaven? In heaven. Okay. Now you'll be thinking, hmm, why? Because Allah created man and he knows what a man desires. So Allah right. has given you an incentive that you don't go and sleep around, you don't go and seek it here because you're pulling it there. Okay. It's a reality. Allah's dealing with your psychology. Allah knows your psychology. So Allah's saying, if you go about things around, and I'm not just saying don't get married, get married. Be good. But eventually, this is what you're going to get. So it gives me an incentive to be like, you know what? I'm going to argue the sake. No, there might be Muslims who, they don't, they don't need that. Allah talks to different psychologies. Some people work with hellfire. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go. Some people work with reward. Some people work with different psychologies. Allah caters for all of them. So you might read something in the Quran and be like, you know what, that's deep. The fact that I'm going to see God Almighty in heaven, that's all I want. Some people might say, you know what, man, man's going to have water lane. Woo. Don't come visit me in Jannah because man's going to be busy. <laughs> it's halal. <laughs> I think you want to take a shahada now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it's a real religion. It deals with reality, bro. We don't deal with like, like hunky dory, oh, I live happily. Yeah, and this thing of Islam is a religion of peace. Please, man, get out of here, man. I don't even believe in religion. Like, like religion, the word religion. Follow religion blah, blah. No, no, no. I believe in a philosophy. No, you're following a way of life. Yeah, this is a exactly. philosophy. It's, it's a religion. It's a perspective. It's a religion. I see, more, I see religion more of like a governmental thing. That's the thing. No, no, still. What you're following is governmental. Liberalism. Who is it pushed by? The government. No, philosophy is ne not necessarily so government. No, it's something the government pushes. Philosophy, uh, uh, liberalism. I've never seen any government the, push The two philosophy. gods of pain and pleasure. Maximum amount of pleasure for the maximum uh, amount of uh, pleasure for the uh, maximum amount of people. This is the lifestyle that you've been born to. Don't get it twisted. We're all following a religion. We're asking you to come and follow the true religion. Mm -hmm. Hassan, it's been, it's been great. It's been very great. Yeah, Hassan, it's a pleasure. I, I, I love. You know, before I came here, yeah. I actually made a dua. <laughs> wallahi, wallahi, I swear to God, yeah. And I'm not trying to act like I'm a peer or something, yeah. yeah. But I just made a dua and I said, Oh Allah, send us sincere people. Wallahi, I always, and I ask him, Jabi, Jabi, come, 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 check this out. What, what, what dua do we usually encourage each other to make before we come to the park? What kind of people should come? I wish him say something different. <laughs> oh yeah, sincere people. Okay. Did I say that to him? Mm -hmm. We Maybe. try to, you know why? I don't want, about, I was speaking to one Christian guy last week. I said, yeah. if I show you the truth, will you? No, I, can, I haven't got time for you, bro. I'm going to waste my time with you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You're sincere. You're looking for the truth, and I appreciate and value that. Yeah, I, I won't deny the truth. Oh, that's good. That's I'll like, never deny the truth. I'm here. I can give you those sources. Yeah. yeah I would love those yeah. um, sources, prophecies you talked yeah, about. Yeah, sauce, ketchup or barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on my job. Yeah. Every yeah. like try like uh, yeah, if you can like compile like the prophecies. Okay, I will get them to you. But I also, I also actually... want like you know you said like something about Ali, right? Yes. I also want those um, written. Uh, okay, I'll get them. Yeah. Okay, guys, till next time for me and Hassan. We might see you next week. Make dua for him, inshallah. I'll be here next week. You might take a shahada next week. We don't know, inshallah. <laughs> we ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to guide them. Till next time from Salam Kona. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.